Hey, Casket here. Check this out. Baby back ribs marinated in a pineapple juice and soy sauce mixture with chopped onions, chopped garlic, and chopped jalapenos on a UDS, the Ugly Drum Smoker. Okay, so we're going to start with a can of pineapple juice and then we're going to add the chopped onion. I got a jalapeno chopped up coarsely and I've got three cloves of garlic. And we're going to add that in there. And one cup of soy sauce. Whisk that around a little bit. Okay, into the refrigerator. So the uh, the four baby back ribs have been marinating all night long. So we're gonna dump these, pat these dry, let them come up to room temperature for about 30 minutes, and then we'll put them on the pit. Okay, we'll just pat these dry, both sides. I'm going to use uh, some Oklahoma Joe rub, uh, I'll throw the recipe down below, uh, and, uh, but you can use whatever you want. Whatever rub you like, use your rub. This is what I'm doing, and uh, I'm just going to put a light coating on it, and then we'll uh, throw them on the pit in about 20 minutes. Okay, we'll let them set for 20 minutes and come up to room temperature. Uh, the pit is stabilized at 240. I'm gonna raise it slightly because when we put the cold meat on the pit, it's gonna drop the temp significantly. So uh, we'll get that stabilized, maybe around 260, 270. Get these on and uh, we're looking at about four hours, maybe four and a half hours. You can see I've got about 12 charcoal briquettes in there. going to use these Weber lighter bricks, lighter cubes. So once these get lit and start to ash over, we'll transfer it to the basket with a couple of chunks of hickory and then we'll transfer that basket into the drum. And then we'll get our temperature stabilized. I'm shooting for 250 degrees. Okay, as you can see, it's they're almost ashed over completely. So we're going to add them to the basket. I've got three chunks of hickory. Give that a minute and then we'll get the lid on and start adjusting our temperature. Well, the temperature is about stabilized on the UDS, on the Ugly Drum Smoker. And I've got a wireless thermometer. The bottom is the current temperature, the top is the alarm temp. So we're at 239 and it's been holding there for a little bit. I like to raise it just a little bit. So what I'll do is Open this valve up here and give it a little bit more air. This one is wide open. Give it a little bit more air. And that should start to raise the temp a little bit. So real quickly, I'm using hickory, some chunks of hickory. I might put uh, maybe one or two more chunks in that. And while I'm thinking of it, I've never used these uh, Weber lighter cubes before. I've always stuffed the newspaper in the bottom of my chimney. 
And I'll tell you what, I'll never go back to newspaper again. If you haven't tried these lighter cubes, uh, you got to you gotta get them. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll never use anything uh, but these. It, it was so convenient. It was so easy to do. Uh, and uh, they, they lit right up and they give you a nice tall flame. All right, let's go in and uh, get the ribs prepared. one more chunk of hickory. Okay, four slabs of baby back ribs. I'm shooting for maybe four to five hours. I'm gonna spread them with some uh, Bud Light Lime. If you ever tried that, I'll show it to you in just a minute. I'm gonna use that as a spritzer about every maybe two hours. Just to add a little moisture. You can see we dropped to uh, 189 degrees and she's climbing back up but we dropped down actually to around 170 with the lid off while we were putting the meat on the grates so she'll climb back up I'm gonna stabilize it at 250 and hold it right there one nice thing about the drum smoker it's really really easy once you get your target temp to lock it in and uh, it'll hold right there for you as long as you need it I did a 16 hour brisket uh, a while back and I put it on around 8 o'clock at night and dialed in the temp at 250 and it just hummed along all night long I got up maybe once or twice to check on it but uh, nice thing about the drum smokers is they are really really good at holding temp check this out 244 is the temp 243 it's been fluctuating maybe two to three degrees once I get that temperature dialed in on that UDS, uh, she holds pretty well. I haven't touched it. I've nudged the valves a couple of times. Um, and it's staying right at uh, between 240 and 250. It's about right where I'm looking for. So I'm going to be spritzing with Bud Light Lime. If you haven't tried that yet, it's actually pretty good beer. So I'm going to uh, use that uh, to spritz my ribs. It's going on an hour and a half now. I'll drink the rest of that. That'll be enough uh, over the next couple hours, three hours or so. So check that out. Uh, it's a good beer. Coming up on two hours and we're stable at 250. It's been that way for quite a while. I hate to disturb it, but in a few minutes I'm gonna open the lid and we're gonna spritz all four slabs of ribs. I couldn't hold off. I had to show you the pool. Man, this water is nice. And um, I think after we spritz these ribs, I'm going to have to get in. Bad thing about Michigan weather, you got to savor every moment of it if you don't like the cold. Now here we are holding it 261. It went up about 10 or 11 degrees. So this is where we're at. Let's open this up and spritz them down. It's been uh, about two hours. You know, I changed my mind. I put the beer in there, that uh, Bud Light Lime, but I also added 
a little Coca-Cola for some sugar. Now one thing about the drum smoker, uh, you can't be uh, wasting a lot of time. When you take that lid off, the temperature is going to start to soar. Okay, three and a half hours. I'm gonna glaze this with a little barbecue sauce. Just a light coating. I don't have too much further to go. See the pullback on the bones there. Layers of flavor, layers of flavor, that's what it's about. So we started off with the pineapple and the chopped onion, chopped jalapeno, soy sauce, chopped garlic. Put this on and bring it up to, I'm gonna do it a little bit less now. I'm gonna probably shoot for around 230. I wanna be careful with that barbecue sauce. It has a lot of sugar in it and I don't wanna burn. Chef chamois garlic butter spread with Parmesan and basil. This is really good stuff. We get this at Sam's Club. You can probably find it at Costco as well. And I'm just making some quick and easy garlic toast. I'm using Vienna style bread. It's actually Oakwood bread if you're in Southeast Michigan or, or in the area. Uh, we have Oakwood Bakery, uh, which is located in Detroit and their products can be found all through here. So I just did both sides of the bread with that uh, garlic butter. Just throw them on here for a minute or two. This will go good with the ribs. Quick and easy and delicious garlic toast. Chef Chamois, pick it up. Okay, it's been five hours. Let's take a look. Look at the pullback on those baby backs. It's nice. Let's let these rest for a few minutes and we'll cut into them and see what's happening. Okay, five hours on the smoker. Let's take a look at these baby backs. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, those are very juicy. Let's try one. It's not fall off the bone, it's pull off the bone, which is what I like. It's got a good flavor. Um, there's nothing that jumps out, uh, but you can taste the, the seasonings, the, the number of seasonings that are in there. Uh, they just all kind of combine, and um, this is really a good, this is a really good rib. Um, I'm not used to baby backs, I don't make them too often, uh, so I'm not used to having quite a chunk of meat when I take a bite of a rib, but I think I probably will start doing more baby back ribs. But now this is a good rib. I'm happy with it. I'll stick with the recipe. I guarantee if you do the pineapple juice, the soy sauce, the chopped onion, garlic, jalapeno, uh, use your rib, rub, and your barbecue sauce, I think you'll be really happy with it. Excellent.